So here we are with metal dies and I use um, metal cutters. These happen to be uh, Beat Smith makes some um, um, just you you can get these just at any um, craft store. And I cut these little guys out. Once you get started, they are made to um, bend. But I like to get going with the um, metal cutters because I don't want to cut my fingers. So this is what I mean by bend. Then I can get it out. But I usually get um, started with the metal cutter. And this one here, I will use the metal cutter because I don't want to get my fingers cut. So that's how I cut them apart. Now let's say there's a piece like this. I'll talk about this again. But I um, sometimes choose on these dies not to cut them out because um, these um, have a nice margin between them and they can just lay out on the um, sheet of shrink plastic when I won't run it through my roller mill, my big shot hand crank, or my um, big shot switch. Um, so sometimes I choose to, sometimes I don't. And um, then I also am going to show a little bit later on how to um, lay out if you want to put a double hole, like a flower piece and then a flower hole inside of it. So with all the dies for the shrinkets, you're going to have to find the center of them and use a hole punch, your favorite size. On my site, I carry um, quarter inch, eighth inch, and sixteenth inch. And to find that center hole, I place my dies on a piece of paper, and then I'm going to run through that that through the machine. So I've run it through the die cut machine. And there I have, these will be templates, paper templates. And all you have to do is fold these guys over and find the centers of them. So when you open that all up, there's our center. And if you want, you can mark it. And it's nice if you're going to be using these dies a lot to then make a, um, I mean, the paper template can be saved or you can make a shrink plastic template that you mark as a template and you um, always know to mark your center hole that it'll be your template that marks your center hole. So that's what I'm going to be doing. There's my hole, my center, and there's my center. So when I run this through the machine with my shrink plastic, I will have these templates to mark where the hole is. So I've laid out a whole sheet of dies here, and these are all on my site. And up here in the corner, I've shown you how I've laid out something so that I can get a double a, a, a shape with a shape inside of it. I used the um, a piece with the center hole punch and um, laid it out and then laid this one on top of it and put the sent found both the center holes on that not sure why this one isn't showing it right there 
And then once I had those in place, then I laid these guys over them and taped them and double checked. See that I can see the center hole through there. And it's a little bit of eyeballing too, and I use painter's tape to hold it down. Now when I'm doing a die like this, that doesn't have any things to cut out on the inside and it only has connectors out here in the margins in the scrap, I don't need to cut those apart. Keeping them together means that they don't shift. This is an easy way to cut all these leaves out at once. Um, this die is that way, this die is that way. And then I have several dies that I have cut apart just because it, it's nice to use um, these guys in scrap margins so there isn't waste. So we're going to put the plate on. And I want to talk about these plates. These plates, you do wear them out um, with die cuts. Um, and, you know, eventually the thing that happens is they bow. So I like to flip them back and forth every other um, time. And if you're always cutting your, keeping your um, dies, the cutting edge on one side, you'll, one plate will wear out faster than the other. So when you order plates, um, you'll always have one that isn't worn and one isn't, and you can trade them off. So the next thing I'm going to demo is showing my new um, Sizzix uh, switch. And that's the electronic um, machine, and, and it is just amazing. It puts a really high pressure down on the, on the dies electronically, and that allows it to cut more um, intricate shapes. So I'm going to demo that next. Here is my big shot um, switch just has a simple plug in it. This is about the simplest machine in the world. Um, this is the on button, and this is the reverse button, like when you're running it through, if you want to reverse it. The only thing with the reverse button is you have to reverse it before it's complete, because once it's complete, it's done, and it doesn't go into reverse. So the reverse button is good if you're just doing... Um, little small areas, like just a section of a, a die. And I, you know, I found there's reason to, to use it, but not that much. And some people would rather have it once, you know, if they can catch it just before it, it finishes and it's cut all the dies, they would like to have it to reverse and come back out on this side of their desktop. So that's the reasons for it. So you're just going to be amazed at this machine. All you do is just apply a little pressure and it grabs it. My hands aren't doing anything. There, I caught it just in time. So it's going to come back to me. Gonna move it this way. There, it's done. There's its little lid. Um, pop all my little dies, and um, then I will have to punch the holes out in these. But you can see, wow. Let's see how this one did. Wow, we get some breakage between the margins. See, but tiny little dies are cutting very nicely. I like these when I can find these dies. I've got one set on my site that has the holes. Um, so you don't have to pre-punch. This one here, I accidentally was off the mar off of the cutting machine, so I didn't get a cut. I saw that when it went in, and um, it was too late to catch it. So that's going to have to be a scrap, and this guy too. So just double check, but 
Um, I had one tear there and I could have torn that pulling it off. And if you've got some tiny little bitty pieces, these are gonna make the eatiest bittiest shrinkets. I found there's uses for those. Nice leaf designs. Let's see, this is, it's gonna be um, hard to see this. I'm going to grab a black sheet of paper. So you can see what all this did. I mean that, this by far beats any, any um, machine. I've, I've demoed um, the uh, hand um, roller mill. Wonderful, wonderful double. This will be fun to play with. So that's how you can make ringlets, especially um, like if you have these little dies right here and you want to make um, ringlets. If you have any, you know, scrap margins that have to come up, use your little, I've talked about the Euro 2 Studio Pros that I absolutely love for scissors. So then all we have to do, if you're, if you're not good at eyeballing the center, that's when I had said, make your template make your template of your flowers like this here could be a template you can make it out of paper then find your center and punch it and then you always you know keep your little templates in a bag you can just mark them and punch them i have found that i'm pretty good at finding the centers of things so and my favorite punch is the six the eighth inch hole punch because it shrinks down to 16. So, um, and as I said, I sell all the different hole punches um, on my site. So that's my demo on the dies and the new big switch. Thanks for joining me.